Family and religion have historically been the two most important social institutions. But over the past few decades, as people struggle with the cost of living and wait longer to get married, the economy has become a bigger factor in the way families look. Dr. Laura Hansen teaches a sociology and family class at Western New England University. She said recessions in the U.S. and Europe make people pessimistic about their finances and the future. If you can't afford to buy a home, if you can't afford a decent uh, uh, neighborhood to raise the children, the considerations of the type of schools that, that you'd be sending your children to, then it becomes sort of a reflexive thing. And, and then, of course, that further contributes to a decline in the economy because then you work for it. Bishop Mitchell Rosanti told 22 News couples dwell too much on how children might impact their lifestyle instead of how they could make their lives fuller and better. Having children is looked upon as an inconvenience, but rather children bring so much into family life and so enriching to it that it outbalances the, uh, the economics of it. Bishop Rosansky said we can expect to hear more of the Pope's message in September. That's when he'll travel to Philadelphia for the World Meeting of Families Conference. Julie McDonald, 22 News.